Tour gaming traditionally is played on a board with rolling the dice. Our cadets needed better than that. So what we've taken that is from a board game that they can play in the classroom to an immersive learning environment. Multi-Domain Laboratory is a $9.5 million laboratory that we cut the ribbon on in September of 2021. In 2016, I was walking back from a class with one of my cadets, Riley Murray, and we were visiting about the class that we had just had in the flight simulators. And he turned to me and he said, you know, Colonel Swain, when I first came to the academy, I thought it was gonna be the Hogwarts of air power. And you know what I found out, sir? It's not. And that caught me off guard. And I asked him what he meant by that. And he went on to explain that we have wonderful airmanship experiences at the academy, at the airfield and here in Fairchild. But he said, as far as actually learning how air power and cyber and space integrates to actually accomplish effects, we don't truly learn that in an immersive learning environment at the academy. And that really stuck with me. And at first I was defensive and I thought that can't be true. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized how right he was. Several weeks later, I was visiting with the vice superintendent and I told him that story. And we sat there at the coffee table, mapping out what it would look like and what we would need to provide every single cadet, every single future lieutenant in the Air Force and now Space Force with that true deep understanding of how it looks and feels and sounds to execute that mission. And that was the genesis for the multi-domain lab that we now have that provides that experience. We're currently in the flight bay, um, one of two flight bays that we have in the multi-domain laboratory. So in the flight bay, you're gonna have the immersive learning devices where cadets are gonna be able to use different aircraft in order to practice different types of communication skills, mission sets, in order to learn what it actually takes to be in an environment where you have to make quick decisions. We're here in the Joint All-Domain Operations Center, Omega, here in the multi-domain lab. Now what we get to do in this room is sort of incorporate all of the different aspects that you'll see in the modern warfighting domain. We can incorporate cyber aspects as well as space aspects. And then we can project those outcomes from this room and put that into our other rooms where we see uh, the immersive learning devices. So this is our RPA suite for the Omega suite. And what essentially that is, is it's the remotely piloted immersive learning devices sort of the counterpart to the other immersive learning devices we've seen in the other room, the flight bay. And what this really is, is creating a conversation. And so you're having individuals sit in these seats and you know act and operate as if they're RPA operators. But what that really is, is providing that conversation piece between this room and the Joint All Domain Operations Center and saying, okay, what are we seeing on the ground right now? And how is that going to inform the decisions that the component commanders have to make? Multi-domain lab is just coming on right now. And I am also the course director for Military and Strategic Studies 251, MSS 251, which is the core military and strategic studies course. And so what we have done this year is work very closely in partnership with the Center for Educational Innovation here to integrate a hands-on scenario based five years in the future into this core course. And what it has done and what really has exceeded my expectations is allow the cadets an immersive place to fully understand and learn the why behind why we are teaching them these principles of strategy and warfare. And that ability has exceeded any expectation that I've ever had of a classroom experience or environment. It can get very easy for you to be stuck at looking at a whiteboard for six, seven hours a day and think, what am I doing? Where's the applicability? You know, I came here because I wanted to serve, but this lab provides you that context and provides you that applicability. We're gonna be looking at not only the first order effects, but if I make a decision as a component commander here in the JDOC, I'm gonna also be looking at those second order and third order effects that you might not usually look at when you're in a classroom environment. A couple of days ago, we had some international officers and cadets in here, and they said to us, you know, I never even experienced this until I was a lieutenant. Um, so it's awesome that as a cadet, I'm able to think through these problems and be in an environment with faculty who have actually done this in the Air Force or in other branches, and they actually get to take us through questions that they have been faced with. This is incredibly important based on the expected competitors we're going to have in the strategic environment. They're going to be facing a highly adaptable, technologically advanced, near-peer competitor that is well prepared to counter us on every front. 
you know, you can sit and fly around in little flight sims and it's no better than playing a video game, right? And that's what we want to make sure we are 180 out from. You know, it's not about the skills that they learn in here at all, it's about the lessons and those come from the, the debrief. Those come from the understanding of why things went wrong. And what this does is it gives a facility for cadets to come in and make mistakes and fail and mess up and get messy and understand that that's part of learning. That's part of their education. Space is a one of a kind. It is a ground barricade scenario. For those of us who grew up in a classroom with four walls and a overhead projector in the front or a whiteboard in the front, this is what changes uh, learning. This is immersive learning. And as we get it after immersive learning, we're getting sticky learning, what I like to call. Learning that sticks with cadets from just not only their past their midterms or their final exam, but goes into their lieutenant, captain, major years, where they can apply the things they learned back then to those times and those uh, situations they will find themselves in.